Hey everyone, we're back. We're playing Tam Tam. This is your host with the most, George. <laughs> this is Jadu. Oh we're continuing gosh. the saga of the Temtems. Oh my gosh, it's been a while <laughs> since we played for the for the Let's Play. Um, I did a lot off camera. Uh huh. Uh, JD uh -huh. was like, "Why are you constantly playing Temtem?" But I got addicted to breeding and trying to breed perfect Temtem. <laughs> so I got some with some pretty good stats. Uh, I got like some 50s here, but it is surprisingly difficult to try to get one with like all green stats. All greens. Or, That's too perfect. Yeah, it's like, it's like really hard and then it gets really expensive. I kept running out of money because you have to get like these <laughs> DNA strands so you can ensure you get the stats from one person to the other and all that. Um, so what we're going to do in this episode, uh, we're kind of under leveled. I bred a bunch that are all level one and I gave some to JD. She's got I some got level one. Some uh so we're gonna go back and do a bunch of side quests because we have like a million side quests that we have not finished oh this one looks like a wolf that's cool Ooh, i like his eyes they're different colors yeah different colors like a husky yeah cool that's not all huskies that happen that's <clears throat> no. just like some of them yeah, but some. yeah i've seen some huskies i've actually yeah. seen all types of dogs that have different colored eyes um so we're gonna go back to the first island we're Denise. going back in time and we're gonna go, <laughs> we go back in time and get hit on by our moms, just like in Back to the Future. <laughs> that was a weird movie, if you think about it. Yeah, right. Yeah, th think about that going back in time and getting hit on by your mom. I don't think they... <laughs> almost kissing her. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah um, the level of horror in, in that movie is pretty high. Uh, okay, so we're gonna also explore the Aquamarine caves because we never actually did that. Um, no, that's earlier. somewhere new. We just we missed it or something. Or yeah, we, we didn't went do there much? for a second and then we I kept dying and we're like, let's get out of here. I honestly don't remember because this is like, um, this is episode five hundred thousand and one. <laughs> <laughs> we're an hour fifty of ten ten. Uh, okay, so this is the tour. Tour operator. Um, Oopsie, sorry. I'm so stressed out with this thing. The guy was supposed to be here already, and they're getting antsy. Ants in the pants. I don't know, maybe you can. Oh, San Kaluzu. So how well do you know Denez? You think you can explain the main sites and answer their questions? Sure thing. Yes, thank you. The group's over there. Just go and give them a tour already, okay? Get out of my face. I don't know. Okay. So this is one quest that's super easy. All you gotta do is just answer the questions of these people here. What if they're hard, like math questions? Uh, they're like, okay, what is the square root of 73? Uh, and you're like, I don't know how to out. that. <laughs> hey, hi guys, the, the, the guy is finally here, listen up. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god. Welcome to Arisola, the capital of Denise. It was described for the first time by the ancient poet. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Do you I'm know gonna these? Say, I'm gonna say these facts? Bay of Torquesa. She wrote about its unique location halfway between water and wind. Fascinating! What a city! The majestic massif of red rock you see towards the south on the way to Brichal de Mar is cold. Uh, I believe that's the Thalassian Cliffs. Are you sure? <laughs> they descend all the way to the shore of the Celaro River. Excuse me, just one question. What's on the other side of the river? Um, I believe... The town Can of I look Turquesa? at my map real quick? I believe it's Turquesa. Mm -hmm. A quaint little town that boasts the ancient riverine fellowship, the last of the sailor brothers of old. Oh, one last question. What do you recommend we visit next? I'm really into history. Uh, the ruins of the Windward Fort. Oh, castles. I love castles. We'll see if we have something on the one on Laka. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I like my She was so excited. Like... She just kept mem <laughs> rumbling on, right? Okay, no more questions. Yeah, I'm so ready to get back to the town beat. See, okay, that's what did. happened. Her that's brain we, shut down. That's all we had to do for that quest was answer like three that's questions. That's it. You did it. Thank you so much. <laughs> we got an she umbrella. sounds indifferent. I don't think she cares too much. Did you get yourself an umbrella? All that for an umbrella? Umbrella, umbrella, umbrella. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> that song is now an oldie. Did you know that? It's like 50 uh, years old. Get out. <laughs> that old, huh? No, it's like 10 years old. 15, maybe? We wear umbrellas. Wow, they wear umbrellas in this uh, place, George. Oh, Isn't that of, weird? What a bunch of weirdos. I mean, 
It's really you use to not wear it. Yeah. Well, well actually, like if you're wearing those umbrella hats, yeah. you remember they used to make umbrella hats? <laughs> I think they're so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Are we going to talk to this guy? I think this is more answering questions. Liliana. Liliana. Well, <laughs> my responses are coming up her face completely. <laughs> I think I remember oh, her. Let's play a Tum Tum. Where are your Tum Tum? That says I'm too young for Tum Tum, so I pretend to be a Tum Tum. You can play with me, but only if you know your Tum Tum very well. <laughs> she wants you to play with her. Let me that doesn't look. sound right. Now I'm a Tataru. Can you save me? Uh, of course. Oh, what a great Tum Tum you are. You are so tall. I already did some of these. That's why the answer is already there on the screen. Yeah, look. I can see over everyone's head. Zum, 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 blam. Look now. I'm a little wally now. Flip, flip, flip. Gasp so fast. <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm playing very fast. I can see the other side of the river from here. Now I can cast by. Okay. And now you. Uh, <clears throat> look, I'm a kalazu. Uh, watch my tentacles. <laughs> Oh yeah! Such another entertainment. Another one, another one. Okay, so now I have a sword and we're fencing. Defend yourself, Psypat. Uh, oh no. Uh, oh, that's why he's called Psypat, because he has a Psy. Did you know that? Yeah. You come oh, to no, know that now? You <laughs> oh no, it was fun. I just like literally it hit me right there when I responded. I was like, it needs an O, then it'll be Psypato. Psypato. Right? Psypato. I got an energetic Kiwi. I think I got one too. What does that do? Uh, furry little bites I, of sweetness restores uh, um, stamina am I getting these items twice because if I am that's kind of a cool little gimmick because um, apparently if I do it myself and then later do it with you I just can just get him again oh that's cheating it is right <laughs> that's like totally not fair uh, okay so let's go down this way we gotta go to the souvenir st mm. store anyway and get the purple paint uh, oh purple paint oh, okay so yeah, it's been a while since we played Temtem. -tem. Uh, we've well, been you've doing... been uploading Hades and Blood Omen. If you guys want to catch that. So. Oh yeah, we've been we've yep. been we've been like traveling and doing all <laughs> kinds of crap. We went to the Rocky Mountains, breathed some of that super thin air up there. Ugh, uh, yeah, and it was. We were cold. Like, oh my gosh. It was cold, man. Yeah, it was cold. The leaves are changing <clears throat> colors. It was pretty much as good as it gets. And then up it there. was. <laughs> <laughs> Why keep a... making fun of that poor guy, our tour guide there? We had a tour guide, which he was actually a really good tour guide. Um, he was nice. But yeah, he kept saying like all the time, "This is as good as it gets, guys." And I was like, "I guess I believe him." He just keeps telling me it's as good. As it gets. <laughs> we have to believe him. Yeah. He's the tour guide. He's the one taking us around in a car. Or he says it doesn't get better than this, maybe. I think that's what he was saying. Yeah, maybe. he said that a lot. Because uh, he was in love got, with the fall colors. I got a nibble move. Nibble, nibble, <clears> nibble, nibble. But yeah, it was quite cold. It was even snowing a little bit. Like little tufts of snow. Oh, yeah. We couldn't go through the mountain pass. So they have one they pass that goes that over up. the mountains. Yep. Like 12,000 feet in elevation, but it was closed. They were like, too cold. Too cold, guys. It was Go home. too cold. And you yeah. would think that since there were so many bodies around, I mean, we were elbow to elbow with people oh my there. God, and it was packed. It would be warm. Nope. If you want to go to Estes Park, make sure to go in um, in during the fall time in October so you can be there with a billion other people. Right. There's like a, ta a small <clears throat> town with one street and like a million cars. Go on, on the last street. holiday weekend before the fall season ends. <laughs> yeah, and then you'll just see. Like, Guaranteed. To be in a crowded situation. Yeah. I'm lost. Where'd you go? Oh, there. Oh, yeah. We're going here. Now we gotta go you. to the souvenir shop, which I believe is this one. The souvenir shop. Oh, there you are. Uh, he's gonna give us some paint. Luis. Awesome. Uh, you have purple paint. Yay, purple paint. There we go. Now we gotta take that to someone else. Who's that? Cypat uh, shells. That's where you get the purple paint from. Oh, Interesting. That sounds horrific. Hopefully they're not like murdering cypads for purple paint. Right. And wait until they pass away and be like, oh, here's another one. Another one bites the dust. Uh, all right, this guy. Oh no, not again! How you be so dumb? Anything His face. That matter? Uh, oh, sorry, didn't see you there. We're here with emo flamingo. Yeah, well, this damn thing, I can't get it open. Uh, I'm Joseph, by the way. What's the combination? Well, that's the problem. I've forgotten it once again. That kind of happens to me, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have no I no head for our numbers. They just slip from my mind in seconds. Zoom gone. I need my books and my sandwich. 
You can you get your locker combination from the reception desk. You see, they give you the slip of paper with the number on it. But I have no idea what I've done with it. Maybe they can give you another copy at the desk. Phew, thanks. You're a real friend. All right, so let's talk to the reception desk. Uh, yeah, I guess he didn't want to walk over 10 feet and ask this person. Yeah, uh, what the hell? Like, Why are we doing uh, this job? Don't tell him you forgot his locker combination in again. Incredible! Even he's like, what? okay, this is incredible. I can't give you a copy because I don't have one. We have to comply with Riverine Fellowship data protection policies, you see. Maybe you can find the paper. You must have left it somewhere. Good luck. Uh, All right, back to talk to you. It's inside the locker. <laughs> <laughs> Please say yes, please, about that. The receptionist says he can't get you a copy of the combination. You need to find a slip of paper. Where have you been today? Um, uh, let me think. I've been in the toilet taking a dump. Oh, we just got to fish it out of the dump <laughs> toilet. <laughs> so I got uh, up, had breakfast. I went to the party to get some spare temp cards. Then came straight to Academy because I was running late. Uh, no way, my parents. Oh, sorry. Yes, it. Must have slipped from my pocket when I got the pan sons to pay. Okay, it's in the temporium. Well, we're here. We can get another mission up here from this lady. Okay. Oops, I went the wrong way. We're doing so many missions. Let's talk to the teacher here. Headmistress Dolce. Dolce. Mm, what brings you here, young one? Who are you? <laughs> I am the headmistress and this is my office place. I'm terribly busy. Is there any reason you should be here at all? Anything I can help you with? You help me. You should be studying, my young ward. We're hot for teacher. That's why we're there. Actually, there's something you could do for me. Do you think Yusuf or Raja, they are your classmates of yours? Well, they're nowhere to be found. They've been missing every class like you. But admittedly, I'm, <laughs> admittedly, I'm starting to get a bit concerned. Could you see if you can find them? Okay, I'll find them. Very well, please keep it discreet. We absolutely do not want to involve Carlos and make it official. The academia has a reputation to protect. Come back when you find them. I'll make sure you get the best marks. Okay, so we need Ooh. to find them. I know where they're at, cause I. But we're not them. students. We're all students in this game of life. Okay, uh, so let's see. We gotta go to the temporium. We're to looking. Get this, the combination. We're looking. Uh, we're actually not getting experience doing any of this. This is just for, I guess, items. Yeah. So we're just doing this for fun. Uh, yeah, so... <laughs> Fun. Her eyes are pretty. So she gave us the paper. Oh, the combination thanks. It. And that's all we needed there. Okay, but we still gotta look for Toodle D and Toodle Dumb, right? Because they're... Yeah. Have, this they've been here? missing school. What's in here? Uh, who this? Hello, have you seen my Pidgey Pack production? Do you like it? It's lovely. Yeah, I love Pidgey Pack. When I grow up, Yay. I'll be a tamer to get just as many Pidgey Pack as I can. I'll have a Pidgey Pack farm. As a toddler, it looks kind of adult ish. That got it for me. It's from Crema. Cool one. Yeah! Crema. But I would love to see a real Pidgey Pack. You're a tamer. Can you bring me a Pidgey Pack? Pretty please, Pidgey Pack. Sure, I'll find you one. Pidgey, Pidgey, Yay, Pidgey. Can we go? We'll fetch it. Okay. Pidgey, Pidgey, Pidgey. So, I don't have that one sounds like party. a DJ scratch thing, right? The <laughs> That's my DJ scratch. Uh, so yeah, we were like, okay, so these, these Tweedledee and Tweedledum are over here. I don't know if we ever went in this building. I don't think we did. Oh, he's got like his own little island there. Uh, so here they are. Whoa. Dude. Uh, uh, <laughs> are you on drugs or something? You said you fool. It's not her. Why'd you scream like that? I thought it was her. Jeez, you started me. Phew. Nothing real. I just chillin'. It's too nice a day to be cooped up at school, right? Yeah, so what? But we're fine. We're just enjoying ourselves, dude. We don't want to spend every single day at the academy, yeah, that's all. We, we chose the wrong day to disappear. Whatever. So, hey, Captain George, just don't tell her, okay? Hey, Mistress Dosa. Okay, so now we just gotta go back and talk to both of them. Wait, uh, what, what's the point in that? I know, actually a lot of these missions are just going back and forth and talking to people. Oh my god, uh, really? 
get it? You know, uh, I, said, it's, I guess it's called like world building, you know, and you build the world. Build so this is like a school world. and she's like a pain in the butt teacher. Um, <laughs> they're playing truant. Oh, so a band is actually here for me. Thank you for your help. Uh, <laughs> we got a decoy. Decoy. <laughs> that looks weird. What is that? Oh, uh, there's like a pigeon peck on the board there too. Useful distraction. Are they analyzing pigeon pecks? I guess so. It's an anatomy class of Temtem. <laughs> <laughs> we dissected. Did you ever have to do dissections in your oh, biology Oh, yeah. In biology? Class? Yeah, for sure. Um, those are the worst. Uh, this yeah, combination gross. was one, two, three, four, by the way. One, two, three, four. Uh, Couldn't you just figure that out? Like, guess. You got a vital apple. Except no, I don't think I'm getting It's vital to eat your apples, George. Because... Keeps the doctor away. Well, I guess I did get a vital apple, so... Interesting. I guess I could just get items again by doing the missions with you. Uh, Jader. Yeah, yeah. That was that was the worst dissecting dead animals. Uh, Where'd you go? I'm lost. I'm going towards the beach. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go this way now. Why do you run faster than me? I don't get it. So we're gonna go to the Agua Marine Caves. Um, yeah, those are up this way. So we're gonna go explore those. Cause why not? Uh, we can get some items there. Oh, we'll run over somebody. <laughs> um, that was funny. What happened? You ran into somebody? I almost ran over that person there. Oh. Surfing USA. Oh, no. Something came over. It is a Kalazu and a Pukey. Oh, my gosh. Uh, so finally, we get to level up some of our Temtems. Um, uh huh. Yeah, uh, what should I do with it? Uh, there you go. I should kill him. Should I be switching out? If you want to. Because, yeah, your badass mode doesn't, isn't really going to level up from finding guys that are, like, level 14. Uh, Let's see if I could put somebody else in. Yeah, so the oh, idea is we're fighting lower level got... people, but we're doing it to level up our temp and here's our strategy our mad strats let's see if it's working um, let's see who can i put in what song is that nothing <laughs> just a thinking theme song i like it it was like thum, -da -da -blum 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 -da -da -blum -blum. it's kind of like -blum. a really deep throaty computational sound <laughs> Here's my thinking song. You ready? La 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 la. You got a loud <laughs> mind. Your mind is like loud as shit. I did that during. I don't the know SATs. how you concentrate. That. I did that during the SATs and they kicked my ass out. <laughs> like you have to shut up, sir. <laughs> Just kidding. No one calls it a kid, sir. I like the SATs. Do you remember the first time you were called sir or ma'am? Like... I guess in my last job, yeah. I don't remember the last first time I was called sir, and I was like, I think it was when I was working. And they didn't call you that in high school, at least? Sir? I don't think so. I don't think I ever got sir. They're um, like, hey, kid. Or mister. Hey, mister. <laughs> That's like from old movies. Hey, mister. Hey, mister, mister. Let's see. Okay, so we're going to explore Oops, here. Oops. Crap. Oopsie doopsie. So, yeah, we're going to explore this area, because we never really explored this these caves. Oh, Okay. Uh, so we've we never got in been here. here. We were like low level, so we just died, and we're like, "Oh, we come can't... back to here oh. later." And guess what? Now is later. Now, now is, later. is now. Now is later, and later is now. <laughs> uh, wait, let me think sense. about that. La 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 la. I got it. I know exactly <laughs> what you're talking about. Uh, all right. Who should I attack? I guess I'll take out Tats. Tits. <laughs> Tit for tat. Should you, should you rename him Titteru? <laughs> Tatataru. Tatataru. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I don't know if we should catch these. I guess we could, maybe, if we wanted to use them for breeding or something. But I'm like, I'm done with breeding. So breeding, uh, breeding in this game is interesting. It's very addictive. So it has this weird, like, uh, like almost gambling effect to it. Because it's like, That's why you kept like a doing slot it machine all the time. effect. Because it's like you want to get these really good stats, but uh, it's hard to do. So you're hoping 
that when you combine them, you're going to get the better stats and not the uh -huh. worst stats. So it's right. kind of like a slot machine. Um, Ooh, you're sliding on my screen. That's they, so weird. They do, like, I think psychologists have talked about it. It's like um, a certain type of reward system, variable rewards or something. Can I fight this guy? We. Uh, this... this is just a pool. It's a private little area. Ooh, nice. Excited researcher. Can can this really be the place? The entrance? I just tell it is. Yes, yes, it is. Oh my, it's a historic moment then. Is it? Of course it is. The entrance to the kingdom of the Sea Queen, of course. The legends are real, or they might be. Oof. I have to keep a scientific mind. Avoid speculation. I'm too excited. May I speak with the professor? Of course, no need to talk to his assistant to follow some arcane protocol. This is fieldwork, my friend. Na Properton College. Okie dokie. Is this queen? the professor over here? Sorry, I don't think we met. Are you part of the team? Yes, I'm Professor Captain George. <laughs> oh, uh, yes, of course. I've heard about you, Professor. Your paper on your latest paper was fascinating. I fear you might be wasting your time here. How so? My colleague here thinks he's very close to discovering the mythical kingdom of the Sea Queen. A legend. A beautiful one, too, but just a legend. As well as expected, it's a wild goose chase. What's a goose? <laughs> <laughs> oh, just a mythical Aburian animal. Supposed to be like a wind temtem, but is that really a temtem? Like I said, another myth. They have goose here? <laughs> okay. You don't think it's here? The legends are exceedingly vague. Just fuzzy hints about places where sea and rock meet. Could be these caves, could be somewhere around Windward Fort, could be hidden in the grotto near north of Turquesa. We don't know. Denise has changed a lot in the past few centuries. If you ask me, this is pointless and we should be paying more attention to the cave paintings in Jude Tunnel. Kisela is so underexplored. Uh, but it does exist then. Who can say? I'm a scientist, not a novelist. The legend of the Sea Queen could be entirely symbolic. We should take it literally. Should not take it literally. A tale about eternal love and a <laughs> metaphor about the symbiotic relationship between the ancient highlanders of Hatless Hill and the early sailors of Solara River, a foundational myth for our soul then. Romanticized during the last... Oh my god. Um, Boy, we're getting deep into this. Very well, I'll be going. I don't think I talked to you enough. Is there a secret passenger? Oh, who's fighting us? Oh, Agatha. The interviews. I'm sorry. I'm not giving interviews yet. What the? Inter I know where, who we're talking to? Either. Who do you? You'll have to wait in line. In Why line. Bye, Indaria. Are you a persistent one? Where's my security people when I need them? Don't. I'll show you what's what. All right, we're fighting Agatha. Was she in the water? I didn't see a woman. I didn't see her. What the She's hell invisible. is that about? I don't chill out, lady. Oh, these are strong. -la -la. I don't think my Bonnie is going to be a good match for these. Uh... No? Bonnie, get Bonnie out. Uh, well, maybe. I don't know. But they're like level 24 and level 22, which is a little high. Ooh, back Ooh. hit. Didn't do shit. Man, you ain't got nothing to worry about from these guys. Right? That's It's just a scratch. It isn't but a flesh wound. Uh, okay. Uh, well, they haven't Taking attacked you me out. yet, so let's see if Bonnie can survive. I slapped you. Um, but yeah, the, the breeding can be very addictive. That's why I was like, oh, okay, goodbye, Bonnie. Well, you did what you could, when you could, you would, <laughs> whatever. Um, but yeah, it was fun. I was trying to get one with all 50s, but that's like impossible. That's so much. It probably costs a ton of money and it's so much work. Uh, so the I money you didn't have. I was like, but I guess if you had it, you would have kept going, huh? I guess like these. I was like, these guys are good enough that I got. So I'm going to be happy with them and not try to be greedy. Yeah, I got some good ones. It's going to be good enough for us to beat the game. We're not going to have to be like okay. struggling because we were yeah. struggling with some of these. You gave me some good ones for we, sure. We were like struggling with Nowlin. Nowlin was just like kicking our ass left Yeah, it and took right. like three times. He's like, he's like, eh, you guys can't got shit on me. And we're like, I guess we don't because you keep <laughs> destroying us. Oh, there she is. She's in the water. Oh. I didn't even see her. I thought there was a... Oh, there's a secret in the waterfall. There's a TC-005 Misaji. Really? For Where the is monks it? of Miyako developed this technique to eliminate all alerted status on their temtem. And two tonic pluses. Nice. There's boxes in there. Did you get them? 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 Oh, there's a tonic. And then Misagi. Misagi. Oh, there she is. She was in That's the it? water. Oh, we got another battle. Are we gonna catch something good? What is this? Oh, another Kalazu? 
call us. Or... I got two, so I, two good ones. Now that you gave me that second one, it's pretty good. Good, good, good. Yeah, I got a very good Kalazu. These are actually higher level than mine. Good Kalazu. I gotta get mine to level 19, because you know what happens at Kalazu at level 19? He evolves into Calibus. Oh. And then he becomes a water and toxic type, and then he's got more immunities to toxic moves from these mobos. Oh no, Goop is gonna die! Oh, well that's not bueno. No es bueno. No quiero para muerte el gupo. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's not even the language. I don't know that what you're saying. Yeah, I don't even know what that was. But it was not good. Uh, All right, let's see if I can level up this adorable you gave me. I'm gonna catch that male. Cl oh no, he's dead. Goodbye, oh, Kazu. Well, that's too bad. Guess what? I'm not gonna catch him. You are not going to catch him. Gotta catch him all, tempt him up. <laughs> uh, all right, so, ooh, I'm excited. You know, in a month from now, the new Pokemon games comes out, Brilliant Pearl. How could you be talking about Pokemon and then be playing this one? Oh, this like the same tent. thing. <laughs> like, Pokemon. You're like, they're all the same shit, man. Yeah, I would say. Um, <laughs> but yeah, the new uh, Brilliant Pearl comes out in a month. I think exactly a month from a the month day from we're the... recording this. Oh, uh, yeah? Uh, for the Switch, we'll have to play that. We could do a live stream of that one if we ever forgot how to do live streams. Really? But don't make a promise. Yeah, we yeah. gotta figure out that technology. We, we don't quite know how that works. You know how long it took us to figure out these stupid microphones? Man, yeah, if you watch our old months. videos, we sounded like shit. Yeah, and it <laughs> you hear kept like hearing a the dog, clicking sound and all that shit. Like drinking in the background and like all this <laughs> stuff before we Sound played. effects? Yeah. <laughs> you hear like every clicking of a button on the yeah. controller. Yeah. Oh my god. That's one thing they don't tell you when you want to start a YouTube channel. How much you need to be like good at like audio engineering and software and all this stuff. Yeah, because people get annoyed oh, by that. Speaking of which, we got the dog barking here. Yeah. I'm pretty sure the mic picked uh, that one up. He's definitely letting you guys know what we're talking about. Oh man, he's like, you guys talking about me? <laughs> alright, alright, Clovis, chill out. My god. Chill it no out. No one's coming in here. Every time someone walks in the hallway, we get a nice little bark from baby here. Where is he anyways? Oh, there he is. Uh, ooh, a whippy lump. Whip the lumps. Whip that lump. I don't know if I would like to have lump in the title. <laughs> you don't want to have lump in your title. Yeah, of my, my what name. What if that's your last name? Like, like George Lump. George Lumpkin. And like it will like be like Mr. and Mrs. Lump. Two, the Clumps. <laughs> Did you ever see the Nutty Professor 2, the Clumps? No. I saw the first. I used to own the VHS of the first one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I used to watch that movie a lot. Oh my god, we went to the thrift store and bought some VHSs and we found. Oh yeah, you should be using that move all the time. Yeah, so. I, it, it only comes around a second, uh, second round or whatever. Um. But yeah, we found this VHS for some animated CGI cartoon from the 90s on Donkey Kong Country that I did not know existed. Yeah, I, I don't know what that is. I was like, oh, Donkey Kong Country had an animated TV show that looks like Reboot. And I was like, wow, I have not even heard of this. Um, we definitely are going to have to watch that and report back. To <laughs> report like, back. Like, we'll give you a full review. A full, full, oh, we should do a, oh my god, we should do a YouTube review of Donkey Kong Country, whatever that was called, Banana Panic, or whatever the name of the... Where, what? We don't have VHS. a, we don't have a movie, uh, review. Movie thing. review, uh, YouTube. Yeah, we don't have that. To we have Donkey a podcast, and I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give you permission You're for that. You're not gonna sully the name of the podcast with Hell Donkey no. Kong Country reviews. No. 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 Uh, you don't even know. Okay, I'm gonna go on my hands quiet. Uh, ooh, we got tickets for the Red Hot Chili Peppers. I had to take out a mortgage, our second mortgage <laughs> on our house. <laughs> no, we didn't buy it. That we were is looking all for, completely a lie. Yeah, we were looking to get tickets for the Red Hot Chili Peppers, but then I was like, well, I don't want to take out a second mortgage on our house to go see them in concert. So I guess I'll just... Uh, how, how did, like, buying tickets become so unfair? Oh, my God. Why did I put him in? What was I doing? Oh my gosh. I was like, oh, you crystal, attack too much. <laughs> crystal type is strong against mental type. Let me put him in, not realizing he was just going to get annihilated two minutes in. Oh my god. What was that? That was a disaster. That was an unmitigated disaster. Oh boy. Um, 
But yeah, we were going to go see them in concert. And even the tickets, it was like before fees. It was like, oh, this is pricey. It was already and too much I, before fees. And I put it in the cart. And it's like, oh, now there's an extra $60 of fees added onto the ticket price. And then, by the way, don't forget you have to pay for parking when you get here. And I'm like, this is dumb. I don't want to go anymore. <laughs> yeah, you get so irritated. Their... You just go ahead and empty out the 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 cart, right? And you're like, yeah, that's it. I'm just going to listen to their, their CD and that's it. Watch YouTube, and there might yeah. be a video that somebody recorded. <laughs> Watch a concert video on YouTube. <laughs> like, way cheaper. <laughs> For sure. You shouldn't use Boomerang, because that's only going to do half damage. You should use oh, uh, any other God. move. Okay. Maybe Earth Oil or whatever. Because he's a wind type also, so wind against wind. But they're not no flying, how are they wind type? Because he's got wings. So what? And he's covering his face with his wings. Penguins have like, wings and they don't fly. I, he's like, I have a cold sore and I want anyone to see it on my lift, so I'm covering my face. That's what he's doing. He's ugly. He's got a pimple on his chin. He's ugly, that's he's why like, he covers his face. Uh, he's like, <laughs> I don't want anyone to see the pimple on my chin, so I'm covering it up. God, like, it's a cyst you, and it's got a ton of anyone. butter in it. Oh my gosh, we carved a pumpkin yesterday for Halloween, mm, and we, we're going to roast some of those pumpkin seeds. It's like, this is the only time of yeah. year I eat pumpkin seeds, and they're good. And I'm like, I should eat them more often, but yeah, they only sell should. pumpkins at grocery stores, like, in October. And it's just We like, should get some other stuff, like... Ooh, oh, what other stuff? stuff? What other stuff? Like other, like squash, and... Oh. It, it, they usually come around during the season or something, that's oh, good yeah. to eat. All the other pumpkin-like vegetables. Yeah. Is pumpkin a vegetable or a fruit? It's got to be a vegetable, right? No, it's definitely not a fruit. At least I don't think so. Um, it's a vegetable. You know, tomato is a fruit. Actually, it's a berry. Yeah. Shut up and run, you fool. <laughs> That's what he said. You fool. <laughs> run. Uh, okay, I got to put someone else in because I just dumbly killed my... Um, my, yeah. my 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 lap and I, uh, so yeah, let me my put my slow. my my low uh, low low low. I gotta put in my other guy. What's this guy? Gyalis. Gyalis. I think we said sounds like some kind of uh, ED medication. <laughs> <laughs> like a knockoff of Cialis. <laughs> you ever? <laughs> <laughs> the um, Cialis commercials are the best because they would just show like. <laughs> Um, like an older person, like sitting in the tub outside. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> just that some looks guy really... talking over top. It's like, <laughs> are you That's tired of ED really medication refreshing. that doesn't last long enough? Well, try Cialis today. It's like if you watch football games, my God, do you see a lot of commercials for ED medication? Yeah, what's up with that? If you watch a football game, at least it used to be. I haven't watched it in a long time, but it would be commercials for like fund in this like uh brokers for like charles schwab or whatever fidelity so it's like stock investors and um and what's the other thing the um the uh the uh uh, uh don't they have one for like yeah uh, ed uh, medication so I guess or was it a, like uh and beer football dream team kind of thing they do like the online stuff with oh other my people. gosh yeah. i forgot what they call that Oh, the, yeah, what the hell are they called? DraftKings? The stupid, like, uh -huh. basically gambling, but they got away with it because it's like fantasy football. Even fantasy just, football. It's just sports gambling online. That's what it's called. And it's like, get your free $100 today. And, oh boy, you got into a oh, fight. Oh, man. It's a Tataroo. Hey, Yay. Tataroo, how are you? Tat I'm going to try to dance. catch him. Tataroo. I'm going to try to catch me this Tataroo. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the DraftKings, they're always like, get your free $100 today. And then... Oh, out. It's like whenever you see them offering you free $100, you know it's probably not good. <laughs> it's like if they have to entice you and by I giving you give you, you free, free money, money for nothing. It's like those stupid... Oh my God. And they used to advertise like... What was it? Like Clash of Clans or something like that. Clash Dojo of Clans. Stuff. Shh. Uh, come here. Be quiet. What? Shh. I'm with the dojo. There are bad guys ahead. We think they're part of the gang that got in here a few days ago and cursed the landslide. Caused the landslide. They were left <laughs> behind. You mean the Belsotos? The, what do they call themselves that? And how do you know? It's like you're not whispering anymore. <laughs> I fought them at the Windward Fort. Wait, you must be Captain George. Sophia so told me about you. In that case, I suppose I have no advice to give you. You know how to take care of yourself. 
That's yeah, right. we're Ooh, the boxes. we're the good guys. Ooh, we got a silicon fragment. Yep. And another silicon fragment. Okay, you can just Double shove both time. of them in the same box, guys. <laughs> Game so it's design. Just like a, this is like Amazon here, Maybe. shoving a small ass <laughs> object in a big old box. Or you order like six things at once, and they send in six different boxes, and you're like, "What?" The well, hell? I always tell them to put it all in one box, and, and then like, they don't even stop do wasting that. boxes, moron. Stupid Amazon. Hey, Amazon, if you want to sponsor us, we're up. We're up for <laughs> <laughs> First, we shit on them. And then yeah. we're like... Stupid Amazon. Stupid Jeff Bezos wasting money sending people to space for no reason. <laughs> like, oh, by like, the way, can you sponsor us? <laughs> and a carbon footprint of just sending people to space. So they could be like, ooh, look, the Earth from space. And then wasting a ton of resources just for that stupid shit. Uh, okay. Cocky fella. She called me a cocky fella. She saw ooh, my She dick. saw that cock. <laughs> <laughs> I like her pigtails. Uh, oh my god, very Napoleon Dynamite. Oh, I see Napoleon <laughs> Dynamite. Didn't she just have one pigtail coming up the side? Yeah, yeah, it was right? just one on the side. I used to have my hair like that. Oh, you did? Really? Yeah, as a oh, team. I didn't know that. Did you also run for class president? No. Or did you vote for Pedro for class president? <laughs> that movie was so much of its time. Like, it was. It was. It was a crazy was movie very that quirky. it got made and that it got as popular as it did. Because um, it was just all so strange, right? Yeah, it was very quirky. Uh, yeah, it was everything about that movie was weird. And it was very, like, awkward. It was all very awkward humor. That it just, uh -huh. like, it, it became... I mean... That was the thing, yeah. It. Awkward humor. Like, it was especially just, for teenagers. And it was just like one scene after another with awkward humor. And I guess it was good. I mean, but I it was kind of like relatable because you know, gr growing up as a teenager, you go through all kinds of just wacky stuff. Yeah, you're stuff awkward and... all the time. Oh my yeah. god, I was so everything just awkward. was I'm... so uncomfortable. I'm still awkward. I'm still like <laughs> I don't know. There's a lot of times where I'm talking to someone, I'm like I have no idea what to say to you. Well, that's just, just being like, socially uh... awkward. Uh... Oh, there's a scunch in here. Scunchy. But scunch. yeah, I could definitely be socially awkward. <laughs> I feel like at my job, like most of the people don't get my jokes. I'll oh, say something and the they worst. don't pick up on it. I'm like, what's wrong with my quirky jokes, man? The worst thing in the world, the worst thing ever is when you say a joke and no one laughs at you and they just look at you. Or like if you're joking and someone acts like you just said something serious, you're like, I don't know, you say something like jokingly and they're like, oh, really? And you're like, no, that was a joke. And then the fact that you have to say, like, oh, that was a joke. It's, like, so yeah, awkward. It's like, that was, I was just being sarcastic or whatever. Yeah. And you're like, damn. And that like, really fell through the cracks there. Oh, my God. That is the worst. Who's this guy? He's just standing He's like here. Mohawk, dude. Dojo Sensei. Well, I guess you must be all right if she let you through. What's mm, up? I'm just all right. Nothing much. I'm keeping watch here in case there are any stragglers and waiting until the Dojo sends reinforcements. What? Those guys down there, all they, all we know is they came this way last week. And next thing we know, the caves, well, they caved in. Oh. Now that the engineers from Arisola have reopened the caves, we have found a few stragglers down here. They are hostile and refuse to surrender. Uh, I'll deal with them. Careful, they play very dirty. Ooh, we like playing dirty too. <laughs> Let's get our hands filthy. Mm. <laughs> mm, you mm. like my mm, mm, you're like thinking about it mm, mm, maybe uh all right let's do this maybe i should get somebody else on here keep using badass mo gotta level up some other people yeah you gotta level up your goop man there's my group yeah yeah because badass i'm not gonna get any experience from fighting these guys they're like level 14 they're like a little Blip yeah. on his radar. Right. You're gonna do shit for him. I okay, use let's my, see. my bonds. Let's see if this this does something to it. Uh, Tataru. He's a level. Oh, you oh, murdered damn. yourself. Okay. Well. Also known as suicide when you murder yourself. <laughs> that was a bit much. Uh, and it's I think like, I also why did you make myself. me do oh, that? I'm still alive. I'm doing as the okay, BGs say this. and staying alive. Yeah, you're staying alive. Ha, 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 ha. You're panting. <laughs> so you are, so you are. All right, we got ourselves another Tataru. At least I oh, got Oh, I didn't one. know you were getting one. Mm -hmm. I got myself a nice pretty Tataru. Oh, look at it. She's adorable. 
Uh, all you care has got a good numbers. Yeah, I want those good stats. Give me them stats. Uh, Alright, so I need to use a bomb on my guy here. Because he's not looking so hot. There we go. Not so hot anymore. Hot to trot. Uh, Alright, so... Oh, I guess we gotta go down here. There's an exclamation mark way down in this corner. This way? So I guess we'll, we'll, we'll check out what's over on this side. Uh, it's probably a guy with a mission for us. Let's see. Oh, a guy a man with a mission. Exhausted tamer. Ah, surfboard. Good thing. He saves you energy on the way here. So you're right, fresh and ready for a fight. Smart. Okay. I would be exhausted too if I keep continuously treading water there. Oh my god, that's exhausting. <laughs> yeah. I am terrible at swimming. I like overexert myself because I panic when I'm in the water. I'm like, oh no, I'm gonna die. Oh gosh, George. <laughs> Sounds terrible. Oh, uh, yeah. It doesn't go well. He's got this real cool kid and play haircut there. Yeah, you like the... I forget which is which is who. Who's kid, kid and, and play. play? Yeah. Is so, it play the one with So the... it's kid and play, not kid in play, right? Kid in play. Kid in play. Kid in play. Kid in play. I don't know. Kid in play sounds more... What do they sing? Uh, don't they rap or some shit? Mm, what are, are they, they rappers? rappers? Let's see, I'm, not, I, I'm trying to get Dude, to I, I haven't I seen that movie in like years, so I don't know what they rap. Is it like... I, and they probably, back then, was it, they always rapped about who their names were. Like, we're kid and play and we like to play. I don't know. Was something like, like that. Yeah, something like, go ninja, go ninja, go ninja, go. <laughs> that That's like ice. Uh, something else that entirely. Was, that was Vanilla Ice from Secret of the Ooze. <laughs> go Secret ninja, of the go Ooze? Ninja, go or ninja. Ooze? That's the sequel. And the other one's Use. like, stop, collaborate, and listen. Ice is back with a brand new edition. Something coming at you softly. Something, something, something. <laughs> ice, impressive. ice, baby. Bam, 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 bam. Ice, ice, baby. <laughs> that was such a popular song in the 90s, guys. And now you never yeah. hear it. All you hear is stupid Queen and David Bowie doing Under Pressure. And I'm like, I want to hear Ice, Ice, Baby. Really? That was a okay. joke from uh, Gary Goldman. Oof, He's like, you remember? You know, we saw Gary Goldman in, in live in person in like a like bar mitzvah hall, as he called it. It was a place <laughs> yeah, that looked funny. like a, it did not look like a venue for a famous. It was comedian. very small and intimate, yeah. right there. It was like a place I would have my wedding at or something. <laughs> <laughs> if only. No, actually, it was nice where we did it, but anyways. Yeah, we had our wedding at some beautiful grounds. The Ford Edison Memorial Estates in Fort Myers, Florida. Um, oh, where is it? We got Zoran here. Zoran. His name is Zoran. He's got the double R. Zoran. Like Raul. Or uh, Romeo. Or Romeo. Ramon. <laughs> Isn't that sexy when they just roll the R's? And they're like, my name, she is Roman. Yeah, you find it sexy? <laughs> Hello, they call me So next, Raul. I'll just, whatever starts with an R, I'll roll it. Yeah. Like, it says you find it sexy. Like, my name is Ralph. <laughs> uh, ooh, it's Marina. Uh. She looks pissed. Yeah, why is she pissed? Uh, oh, hi. She's not saying anything. Uh, what's your favorite Tem Tem? It's um, blank. Uh, what happens if you jump off Denise? <laughs> Dude, you're such a pain. <laughs> Me? <laughs> Do you think I came all this way because I wanted conversation? Uh, I guess. Oh, by the Solara. What, what would it take for you to leave me alone? Wow, well, um, she's got a period or something. I don't know. Uh, I guess something to perk up my tem, tem Take this and shut up. Isn't that what guys would say back then? Like, oh, she's got a period. That's oh, yeah. why she's so bitchy. Every time. Like, so oh, my God. <laughs> sexist. So, uh, now, leave me alone. That was, like, always, like, oh, my God. If you remember in the 90s and 2000s, that was the reason we couldn't have a woman president. Like, that's so stupid. Uh, so now we can talk about... No! I guess you don't like us. No. Leave me alone. Wow, she's really 
like a teenager. Uh, but yeah, I remember that that was like legit an argument that came up of like why we couldn't have a woman president. It's like, oh, they have their period and they're going to nuke Afghanistan or whatever. It's like, seriously? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I don't know why I laughed at that. <laughs> I guess it's just ridiculously absurd. Yeah. And it was like not like comedian. Like, I mean, comedians probably would say it, but it was like legit people were like, oh, well, we got to worry about what's going to happen when she has her period. It's like, really? She's got you don't access think a woman's to gonna nuclear bombs. I mean, oh, we got temp cards. Oh, there's like a lot of boxes Yay. in here. Boxes. It's like Easter here. Uh, so Easter time. There's going? a box here. Oh, oh I, I wanted the, the box. What's in the box? What's in the box? Ah, uh, dick in a box. What if they sang it that way? They're like, it's my dick in a box. And like, why are you so <laughs> angry about it? <laughs> Calm down. And I'm not angry. I just need you to listen to me. Why does no one care about my dick inside this box? <laughs> <laughs> it's like the, you're not even holding the box. I need you to body. care. Did you sever your dick and put it in the box? Because that's not what I want for Valentine's Day. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> so sever dick in a box. Isn't that what you always wanted for Valentine's Day? <laughs> <laughs> Bloody dick in a box. Oh my god. What's the strongest move I have? Aqua stone? Uh, okay, none of your moves are that strong. You need stronger moves, Kalazu. Uh, get some strong moves, man. Oh my god, we're gonna be wrapping up here soon. But guys, we're gonna do this. We're gonna wrap up probably the caves in the next episode, and then we'll move on. We'll, we'll do some rock Yeah, jumping. that'll be it. Yeah, we, we'll do these caves to, to get us uh, leveled up a little bit. Okie dokie. I don't know how much else we have left to explore. These caves are actually pretty big for being yeah, like a side quest, Yeah, they seem very vast. Right? It's very vast. <laughs> Is that what you said? Yes, vast. That's a very vast. Uh, all right, so that's it, pretty much. We just got these caves. I guess we'll see what's up here. Like, we'll cross these. We don't have the skates anymore, so I guess we can't go that way. Oh. Uh, so I guess we'll just go up and Darn. leave. Darn. Yeah, we need the skates to go here. We lost them. Uh, but we're going to do all that in the next episode. We'll see you guys then. Bye, my friends. Bye. You're still here? Well, you might as well subscribe. Okay, you can go now.